Oh, you guys, I have finished my Coopworth sweater spin. Yeah. So, I just want to share with you um, some of the fun uh, details and footage that I collected along this, along the way to spinning up um, these two pounds. So, I ordered, this was last year in the fall, uh, two pounds of coop work. And their listing was for three different colors. There was white, brown, and black. And I ordered black. Um, now, I don't, I don't know how cheap colors work. Like, how you, I guess, why would you call a sheep charcoal or heather gray or something like that? So, uh, but this came from a black worth sheep. Uh, but I mean you can hopefully see it is not actually black this yarn. It is a beautiful charcoal gray, which is absolutely lovely. So uh, so I purchased two pounds of that. I will say these ten skeins I have here um, are not all two pounds because um, some of it was taking out, I took out as a part of the cleaning process, like when pulling out veg matter, um, some wool came with it, uh, which is a very small amount that I lost that way. Um, I did prep this fiber using hand combs, which is a worsted preparation, uh, and they are hand combs that my husband made for me. Uh, and so, what the hand combing did is uh, s sort of help separate out the longer fibers versus the shorter fibers. Uh, so I do have two baskets in the craft room still of some of this Coopworth, of the remnants left behind after hand combing, the fibers that just didn't get um, dizzed out with the fiber. Um, and so I've uh, prepared those for a separate spin. So <laughs> what I do have here, what is actually spun up into yarn, I weighed it. In total, I have 600 grams of yarn. And I wrote down on a piece of paper what that is in pounds and left it upstairs. So I will have it on the screen here. Uh, but I have 600 grams of yarn and the yardage uh, that I have is roughly 1,360 yards. Um, so <laughs> it is a fingering to sport weight to DK at times. So I'm considering this to be on average a sport weight yarn. Um, there are also some places where it's like lace weight, so uh, it is hand spun. It is, excuse me, not my very first hand spun, but my first like good sized quantity of hand spun and working with um, raw wool that I prepped myself. And so it was just this really fun experience. But anyway, um, so that's what I have. It's it's all finished. I have little labels on my skeins here to tell me the breed and the ply and approximately how many yards are in here. Um, and I was keeping track of this as I went along through the spin. Uh, and I think that's going to be nice when I'm knitting the sweater out of this so that if I know I, I still have a large portion of the body to do, um, maybe reach for one of these bigger skeins. Um, but uh, when I say skeins, these are not like traditional size skeins. Um, this is 
approximately 171 yards. It, this is probably one of those that weighs um, 60 grams or something. Uh, so I don't have large bobbins for my spinning wheel, so these are not the average size of skein. I do not have 10 full skeins of, of yarn, uh, just to inform you guys about that. But yeah, so I have, like I said, 600 grams of yarn. I have roughly 1,300 yards to work with, which is enough for a sweater, which is what I intended. And I do still have a bit of this fiber left. So if I get to the end and in an emergency, I need to actually spin up some of that remaining fiber to add to this, I could do that. Um, but I don't think that I will need to. So <laughs> I'm hoping I can use that for a separate side project since the fiber has been prepped uh, in a different manner than how I prepped this fiber. And we all know that that can make a difference in the characteristics of the yarn. So I don't want to have to do that, but if, if I have to, I will. So let me just share with you some of the footage I took along the way during the spin. Um, I did start working with this fiber back in October of 2019, and I finished the last spin uh, on May 22nd of 2020 and then the skein got washed and dried and it was ready to go on May 23rd the next day. So, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. So, eight months with this fiber. <laughs> uh, washing it, prepping it, and spinning it. And so the first three phases with this fiber. And now that I have finished the spin, I can move into phase four, which is knitting. <laughs> So, I hope you enjoy um, the footage that I have for you, and um, yeah, I'm just really excited. <laughs> 